Okay, so now in this video, we are going to show you the demonstration of how to use Bell Framework and uh, the installation steps I have shown in the previous video. And so after installation, we just have to launch our terminal and uh, to start this Bell Framework, we just have to type Bell here. And now it, you can see it has already been launched in our Kali Linux machine. So you can see this is the build version and this is the site you can again visit it and it says that in man menu it says that two tools loaded one is evasion then the second one is ordinance and then these are the available commands which we can use here and uh, yeah so you can see exit information list option update and use and these are the description of uh, of the commands which we can use here in build framework so in this video we are going to use uh, this tool so it says that there are two tools evasion and ordinance so ordinance tool is also is able to generate the shell code and then um, but we are using this well evasion for today's demonstration and to use it we simply have to say like use we have to use this command you can see use means use a specific tool so at this time we are using one of the tools and for that maybe we can write its name explicitly so let's say use a b a s and tab so we can write here or we can also write use one okay so we have selected that we will be using uh, tool evasion and we press enter so after use evasion command you can see now we are in this mode evasion mode and with this well evasion menu you can see we have these many payloads so it says that we have 41 payloads which have been loaded and here these are the commands which we can use back and check words and clean exit info list use and this is the description right and now let's say we want to see that what the payloads are available here so for that we have a command that is list so list will list all the available payloads so first of all we want to see what payloads are available here so just use command list and as a result of list command you can see it has loaded all the available payloads here in well evasion right now to generate a specific payload with some specific purpose we can just select any one or any payloads uh, here and let's say these are different payloads you see it's the uh, auto lead shell code and then auxiliary payload so these available payloads here and let's say for today's demonstration we are uh, selecting some payloads which can actually provide at some reverse uh, shell and metropolitan shell we have here the option here like powershell reverse uh, sorry metropolitan reverse tcp so we are selecting this payload for today's discussion. It will be giving us metropolitan shell of the uh, of the victims machine. So we are selecting this, and now to select this, we just have to use. We have to use this command that is use, and you can see again what commands we have, what commands are available to us. So use means use a specific payload, and we have selected this payload that is giving us this metapretor shell reverse TCP. So we are going to use this command that is use, and then we are only giving the number of the payload which we are interested in. So in this case, this is payload uh, 22. So I'm going to say use payload 22 and press enter. Now you can see that particular payload has been selected and now once we are in this payload mode we have selected the payload what commands we can use so you can see here we have these available commands which we can now use here and you can see back exit generate options set so for once we have selected payload we have to set some of the options available before using this payload and for that we are going to see that what options are available so maybe we have i think if it works let's see show options no just options let's see oh sorry only options command is only options press enter and you can see these are as a result of this command as a result of this command these are the required options and here you can see we have uh, the name of those options their values and their descriptions okay. so 
bad Macs, this is false and checks for known bad Mac addresses and then domain host name L host L port. So for our demonstration, this is important that we should be configuring the IP address of Metasploit Handler. So Metasploit Handler is our Kali Linux machine which I'm using at the moment. So here in L host uh, field, I have to specify the IP address of my Kali Linux machine which will be acting as an attack machine. So for that, I need to have an IP address of um, Kali Linux machine. And for that, if you want to check it, maybe we can open a new window just to see the IP address here even we can use there as well so 192.168.204.128 this IP address of our Kali Linux machine that is L host local host and L port so the local port port of the Metasploit handler we are going to keep it as, as it is and we are not going to change any other options here of this payload and to set our L host, L host, this is the command set all host, and then we have to specify the IP address of our Kali Linux machine that is 192.168.204.128. So, with this, we are going to set the IP address and press enter. And now we have set the IP address, and let's see if we to verify, let's again check options here. And you can see here in the options we have set the IP address of our Kali Linux machine here, which is actually the IP address of Metasploit handler. Right, so we have set this one, and after this, we have we have to use uh, this command that is generate. So generate will actually be generating the payload. So this will be the payload which will be which we will be sending to our victim's machine uh, to our target computer. So for that, we are simply uh, using this command as generate and press enter. And you can see here, it says, please enter the base name for output files, default is payload. So it says that what, what name you would like to use for this payload. So maybe for, I'm sending to someone I knows and I'm going to use this name like birthday gift, birthday and that is gift so this is the name um, i'll be using and then i'll share this file with my with my target machine uh, by using some social engineering but let's say we have selected the name and then press enter and you can see here this is the language for this payload as powershell and the payload module is this the name of the payload module which we are using and then uh, in this directory we have this our our file which has been generated for us. So maybe I copy this selection and I want to show you that where we have this file. So we, oh, and then maybe we paste it there and press enter. And you can see we have this birthday gift dot pack file or the payload which has been generated maybe i can uh, now what i can do actually i can share this or i can send this file to the target machine or maybe i can share uh, send this using an email i can maybe copy it in a, in a usb and maybe somehow give to my target user target system or maybe i can share it on some on cloud maybe I can share it on Google Drive and then I can simply send the link to my target machine uh, or the target user then target user will try to download it in the target machine so in this video I'm going to upload this uh, file on Google Drive and then I'll send this link to my friend and using some social engineering trick cards some somehow I'll uh, trick the user to click on the link and download this file right so I have uploaded this uh, so I'm going to upload this on Google Drive and uh, I'll be selecting maybe Windows 7 machine as my target machine in in this virtualization environment so okay so I'll uh, I'll share this on Google Drive and then I'll download there so now I'm on my Windows 7 machine 
and let's say I'm the victim machine or the target machine and maybe some, uh, my friend has shared some link with me and I have been shared maybe some birth gift, gift present maybe I don't know what is there and uh, here she has shared this file and I'm going to download this file from my Google Drive so that's a drive you can see where my friend has sh shared this with me so I'm going to download it and let's say I'm going to trust it let's say here download this infected file and I'm downloading it here and now this has been downloaded in our in our downloads folder on our Windows uh, 7 machine um, uh, let's say assume that I'm the victim machine and I have downloaded this file and this file is available in my downloads folder so here birthday gift okay so now this file is ready and I, I'm, I, I'm excited to see what is in there so I'll try to open it but one more thing which uh, from the attacking side which has to do which I'll show you now so from our attacking side in our Kali Linux machine also we have to do one more step so that is so we have to actually uh, maybe we can launch a new window to show you this uh, this step and maybe uh, minimize this window a bit right so that you can see here okay so in this actually we have to launch so uh, once this is ready and we have somehow sent our uh, our file to our target system using maybe email maybe shared on google drive or usb the next step is to use multi-handler on this uh, on this kali Linux machine so multi-handler is a step which handles exploit which are launched outside of the framework so for that we are going to launch msf console and that for that we have this command that is msf console and press enter and uh, yes maybe I, I, I minimize it so msf console framework work is launching in my kali linux machine and so our msf console we need to set payload which is expected from the targeted machine so this is something which we'll be doing here and now here we have to say that use use this exploit that is multi multi multi, yes, multi maybe i should i should set this screen dot so that you can see it rest now i hope you can see it multi and then actually multi handler and then press enter to so use exploit multi handler and so you can see multi now we are in that exploit mode payload was that show payload there let's see show payloads and that is was it show payloads what command we can use I forgot. yes maybe here and that i think was uh, metaprater somewhere here we have the list of payloads which we can use and i think that payload was a reverse uh, tcp so metaprater reverse tcp and maybe we can find it here so this this was the payload which we use here so for this i'm going to copy it maybe this one or maybe we can say simply use this one but uh, number we can also use otherwise we can copy it here and then we go here and then we say set payload and then we can paste this name of payload which we used before we press enter and you can see this payload has been selected and once the payload has been selected we also have to configure or set some options there so this show options and in this options we have this you can see we also need to give the local host ip address here so local have uh, local host ip address means the ip address for this kali linux machine so we are going to set this and so for this we have to see set l host and ip address was 192.168.1 sorry 204 and i think that was 128 so this is the ip address of kali linux machine and we are going to set it here and say press enter and now again if we see show options we want to verify so yes we have maybe we can also verify the ip address for this again verify that this is one to it yes right 
so we have done everything now everything is ready and now we have to run this command that is exploit so once we have set all the options we need to run exploit and press enter and now you can see started a tcp handler on this one so now it's waiting for the connection it means attacker is ready to get a reverse shell from the victim machine and that is windows 7 so let's go back here so in this so sorry for that we are need to power on this virtual machine again and see so now this we are on our victims machine and now on victim machine we saw that on our downloads folder we have downloaded that file and now we are excited to see what we have in this birthday gift so we are going to try to open it and we say run it and after run it actually user doesn't see that nothing happened but let's see indirectly a user actually has been attacked and as a proof maybe we can go to our Kali Linux machine and our Kali Linux machine you can see here we have got the matter predator shell of this uh, on this target machine of windows 7 right and uh, and we can also for example if you want to see that uh, are we really in that uh, victim machine so for that we can also check for example the ip address there so you can see here ip address is 137 right so this is the ip address of victims machine 192 168 204 and 137 and maybe we as a proof maybe we can see ip address of uh, this windows machine here to verify so we run this ip config and you can see this is 192.168.204.137 it means using this meter predator shell we are in control of our victims machine and of course if you want to see the shell windows shell so just use shell command and you can see this the windows shell of this windows uh, 7 machine right and now how to use this matter predator shell maybe if i go back exit so how to use this matter predator shell i have another video where we i have explored different commands which we can use in the matter predator so i think that's it we demonstrated that how we can use this well tool uh, and well tool is used to generate payload and this is how actually we can maybe use these tricks in pen testing and yes, we all are learning for this. This is not for any malicious activity. So. And thank you. Thank you very much for today's video and hope to see you in some other video in the future.